In this video, we are going to convert our images to black and white and use the burning in and dodging techniques that give us the look and feel that is very similar to that of an analog darkroom. So first of all, let's create an adjustment layer, black and white. And then uh, we can flick through some presets here. If you go, for example, if you Look at the blue filter. These render images in the same way that a blue filter would uh, render this scene if it was um, put over the lens and if this scene uh, was shot on a black and white film. So red filter gives us a, a different look. So basically what these filters do is, uh, for example, the blue filter will lighten its own color, the blue. So for in this instance, it will lighten the sky and it will darken the opposite color. So yellow is opposite to blue, so it will be darkened. Uh, if we try the red filter, so the red filter, whose opposite is the cyan, is going to darken the sky and it is going to lighten the, the yellow because yellow is very close to the red. Now, this is the kind of way that um, you could manipulate the tones in black and white images on, on an analog black and white camera. But the great thing about Photoshop is that you can take it a little bit further. So. Uh, we can use these sliders like this, and then we can darken the sky, but also darken these pillars like this, for instance. Like this. And then another thing that I could do would be to, so if I'm happy with this conversion, I could take this a little bit further and then do some uh, burning in, for example. So if I go to the adjustments layer and then create a curves adjustment like this, I'm just going to click in the middle and drag down to darken the whole of the image. And then I'm going to press command backspace to fill this mask with the background color, which is black. And remember, we said that black conceals everything. So now that the mask is black, everything is hidden. And then I can use a brush. And I can use a very large brush like, like this maybe, or a little bit smaller. And maybe reduce the opacity to maybe 30%. I can press 3 on the keyboard to set it to 30%. And then I'll zoom in a little bit like this. And then I can just burn in the sky like this. Like this. And then I can reduce the brush size a little and then burn in the river as well. Like this. Maybe I can darken these sides too. The sides of the dome. like that. And then to dodge, so uh, dodging lightens areas, I can again create a, a curves adjustment layer, lighten the whole thing a bit like this, then again press command backspace, and then with a, with a smaller brush like this, I can paint with white to reveal some of that adjustment. So if I keep the opacity low, that means that I can actually uh, build this up slowly. So um, that way the, the dodging is a little bit more forgiving. I don't have to... Uh, I don't have to be 100% accurate, like this. 
And then if I have gone over a little bit, I can press X to now paint with black and just fix these areas a little bit. And if this now appears a little bit too bright, I can reduce the opacity of the whole of the, um, of the dodging adjustment layer like this. Okay, let's have a look at another example. Uh, so again, I'm going to go to adjustments and create a black and white adjustment layer. And this is one thing that I have encountered many times when printing in black and white. Sometimes the edges of the frame may be completely white, so they may not have any detail in them. So if you were to print this on paper, you, the, you wouldn't be able to see the, the edge of the image. Again, I can maybe um, use the red filter to, which gives me a slightly higher contrast, and then create an adjustment layer curves, increase the contrast a little bit more like this, and then take this topmost point and just bring it down like this, so not too much, maybe like that. And then again, I can create a another uh, adjustment layer. So this is um, burning in layer. I can call it um, burning in. Fill it with black like this. Um, Fill it with black, and then take a large brush like this. I need to zoom out a little bit. And burn in the edges. Like this. Another thing I can do here is I could click on the mask and feather the whole thing to maybe to blend in my uh, burning in slightly more even, although I think it's very soft in here anyway, because I'm using a very large soft brush. And then another thing that we could do is um, we could create a hue saturation adjustment layer and then click on colorize like this and then make this look as if it was toned or printed on a on a warm tone paper like this Okay, so if I select all the three layers and then press Command G to group them, this is the straight conversion to black and white, and this is this conversion with, with some tweaks. Another thing that I like to do is to view uh, my images on a white backdrop or a white background as well as dark gray because I feel that uh, seeing this on white gives me a, a good idea of what this image would look like if it was printed onto paper. Mm -hmm.